my uh, little Tibetan bowl. Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for August the 6th through August the 12th. This is for your sun, moon and rising. And um, if you haven't been here before, welcome. Thank you for stopping by and I really hope you stick around and keep coming back. And if you have been here before, welcome back. Thank you, guys. I so appreciate you. I really do. Thank you. Um, thank you for liking and sharing and commenting and subscribing. I really appreciate that. I'm almost at 4K subscribers. Let's make that happen this week, yeah? And um, uh, what was I going to say? Okay, so if you haven't been here before, I do an astrological report at the beginning of uh, the video and I put it on every video because it's a general astrological report. And you may skip that if you're checking out your sun, moon and right, oh, sorry, sun, moon and rising. Mercury's in retrograde, so I'm going to apologize in advance for any mistakes that I make, which I'm sure to do. Um, so, uh, what was I going to say? So, all, all the information and lots of other links, if you want, if you want to link to your sun, moon, and rising, that's in the description box below. Um, I'm also on Instant Go. You can ask a question anytime, and, you, and uh, one question, um, and uh, you can get a really quick response. Um, on there that link is below and support me on patreon guys check it out it's look it takes me about three days to do these videos um, I meditate before each one and I have to do the research and then I you know I have to upload it edit it and all that good stuff so it does take time and um, a nice way of supporting is you know donate a dollar or something you know you can don't you can do one donation or you can do it once a month um, and that, you know, would really be appreciative. And if you can't, just, you know, like, share, comment and uh, all that other good stuff. Um, I, I, I so get it if you can't, can't afford it. That's fine. Um, but if you can, that would be lovely. And thank you for all of those who bought, uh, you know, whom I gave a, um, a personal reading to, uh, who purchased readings. I really, really appreciate you. You guys keep me going in between. Thank you very much. And okay, so let's go to the uh, astrological report. Now, on uh, the 6th, Venus moves into Libra. Venus is much happier in Libra. There's balance in our relationships. I think she's there till the, is it uh, the 26th of um, September, I believe? Uh, oh, sorry, the 9th of September. So Libra is there, um, Venus is in Libra till the 9th of September. So that's wonderful. It's balance in our relationships. Venus is m a lot more comfortable in Libra than she was in Virgo, for sure. And so we can balance our finances, balance our relationships. And then um, on, the sun, on the 7th, Uranus goes retrograde. Um, we have three planets retrograde, right? We've got Mercury, uh, Mars, and Uranus. So this month in general, guys, is going to be slow. And there's no point in getting frustrated. Well, you know, we and we will tend to get frustrated. But think or take a deep breath before you react. I mean, that's my advice. I had to do that in the supermarket. Uh, was it last night? No, the night before. Um, I had to walk away from a situation before I said something I might regret. <laughs> you know, it's things like that. It's situations like that that you've got to take a breath, you know, be careful of driving, you know, what is it, car rage, drive, driver's rage. You've got to be very careful of that. It's just, you know, take a deep breath and relax. It's not that important. You know, allow things to unfold and just keep going. Keep it moving, darling. Now, I want to talk about the energy of the month, numerology-wise. Um, now, uh, this month is the number 19. Now, how do we get 19? We add um, 8, which is August. It's the, the eighth month, right? And then we add 2018. So we add 8 to 2 equals 10. And then we add, well, there's a 0, so that's nothing. Then we add a 1, which is 11. And then we add the 8, which is 19. Now, 19 is a karmic number. 
And 19 in the major arcana represents the sun, right? It's the sun card in the major arcana. And um, the sun rules Leo. And on the 11th, we have this new moon um, solar eclipse in Leo. Now, the sun rules Leo and we've got a solar eclipse. I just think that's amazing. <laughs> I just feel, okay, no, I don't feel, I just <laughs> think... I feel, I feel, I'm a Cancerian, darling, I feel. Um, the, uh, this solar eclipse is all about how can we shine, right? How can we shine a light on ourselves? How can we shine going forward? How can we be a part of the group and yet be an individual? Um, this is the truly new beginnings because 19, 1 and 9 equals 10, and 10 reduces down because 1 plus 0 reduces down to 1. So that's this is the third of three eclipses that we've just gone through. This is truly new beginnings. Now, I'm not saying start a new project or anything, but this is going going forward differently within ourselves and asking ourselves, how can we shine? How can we be an individual and yet be a part of the group, right? Um, I think that's a wonderful uh, question to ask ourselves at that time. Um, there are so many other things. Go oh, and I will mention on the um, 12th, um, oh yeah, the 12th Mars moves, because it's in retrograde, it moves back into Capricorn now. That's going to be great because Mars loves being in Capricorn. It can get things done, right? So even though it's retrograde, it's still about being able to move forward. Um, but things are moving at a slower pace. And if we accept that, guys, um, life will be easier. If we can breathe before we react, then you know, avoid major conflict wherever possible because we are liable to say things we perhaps you know, don't mean, or maybe we mean it at that time, <laughs> but may regret it later. And, and you know, Mercury's in retrograde. We could be misconstrued uh, or, or misinterpreted. What we say might be misconstrued. So it's very important, um, you know, to think before we speak. Um, so without further ado, let's go to your reading, shall we? Hello, Leo, sun, moon and rising. Welcome to your reading for August the 6th through August the 12th. And the first card out for you guys is the King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands reminds me of you. It's passion, it's fire, right? Um, and the King of Wands is an incredible leader. He loves fun he's always wants to do something different he's you know he's very gregarious he wants you know capital f darling for fun um and and he's very passionate the thing i would say is that he's an incredible leader when he is guided spiritually when he puts his spirituality first so i'm kind of getting that because clarifying it is the king of swords who is the justice card right and he's about communication so i have a feeling that you have to be fair and just when you're and this is also you know uh, he's akin to the justice card it's about balance. I, f I am getting balance your emotions, which is very um, apropos this, this uh, week with Mars retrograde. And there's a lot of aspects going on that I, that I uh, kind of technical, so I won't kind of go into it. But breathe before you react, Leo. You know, don't pounce, darling. Self-discipline, self-control. Um, but definitely be out there and, and shine. Um, now, so the next card out is the Five of Cups. And this really is looking at your cup as half empty as opposed to half full. It's focusing on something that hasn't worked out. It's focusing on, um, it's focusing on everything that's not working in your life. So this is what's really important during this week. It's really to have the focus on how you can shine a light on yourself going forward whatever you 
whatever you focus on expands. That's the law of the universe. So don't be focusing on what have, hasn't worked out for you, Leo. It's really important, important to notice what, you know, look, he's, he's focusing on the three cups that have spilt, but right behind him are two full cups. Yes, mourn the three cups, but do it quickly and then start focusing on, well, thank goodness I have the two cups that are full, right? The two chalices that are full. And that's what you have to do. Because sometimes when we're focusing on what we haven't got, we're really not in gratitude. So we're not attracting more of the things to be grateful for and look clarifying it you have the five of pentacles which is another card of deprivation this is about you know really not feeling taken care of feeling like you haven't got enough money you know not but i think when this card comes up it's it's this is help coming in is what i got when i first saw this card i feel that you've got help the thing is, is this is also, look, when this card comes up, I always say it's the same with the five of cups. Abundance comes in many forms. And I remember going on a, some kind of a financial retreat. You know, I've done all these self-improvement things. And one of them was about our relationship to money. And he said look look around downtown wherever you live you always have a downtown area right and there's all those public buildings right you own those buildings you are a real estate mogul <laughs> all those buildings are bought with taxpayers money so they are your buildings so you can actually say wow they're my buildings i own those buildings along with everybody else but still you, you're a, you are, uh, you own those buildings because you pay into them with your taxes. So it's about looking at things a little differently, right? It's about seeing the abundance around you. It's about being grateful for a tree growing. It's about looking at the gratitude. Well, thank goodness I have a roof over my head, even if it belongs to somebody else, whatever it is. It's being grateful for the little things you have to start little sometimes because it's hard to start from nothing and get you know be really grateful but you have to start being grateful for little things and this is reminding you to look at what's great what's because when you see gratitude when you see abundance and you see gratitude you kind of shift your perspective and you raise your vibration and then you attract wonderful things. So it's about raising your vibration. Um, and being here in this energy, feeling that you haven't got anything and everybody else has got it, um, <laughs> is not helpful. And it's interesting, right? The next card. Because as I was looking for the uh, sun card to, um, you know, to illustrate how... Uh, this month, the energy of August is the sun, uh, this year particularly, and the sun rules Leo. Um, I came across the temperance card and I paused for a moment and I said, wow, the temperance card is very important this week. Temperance is very important. And here you have it. Temperance is important. It's about tempering our emotions. It's about balancing ourselves. It's about, you know, sometimes... It's about not overindulging. It's not uh, overindulging in any way, either shopping, eating, drinking, you know, drugs, whatever it is for you, right? Um, this is about temperance. And I particularly got temper your emotions. And you, you have that. You definitely have that with your first two cards. It is about tempering your emotions. And then you've got clarifying it as the two of cups. Now, the two of cups sometimes is um can you see that yeah is uh viewed as the lover's card right how i see uh the oh look that's so interesting because look the the lion is right above uh the two c cups how i see is i think that if you see yourself in the other person right you will only treat them with kindness compassion and respect so i feel that the temperance 
temper your emotion either with your lover or any kind of relationship because this new uh, moon solar eclipse is about relationships it's about working with a group and yet remaining an individual you know being yourself within the group um, keeping your individuality shining a light on yourself and yet still being part of the group so this is about really tempering tempering your ego tempering your emotions um, I'm looking at this and I see the water and the fire and and so I really feel that it's about uh, balance and uh, you know the the mantra for this card is everything in moderation now Leo it is your birthday happy birthday so um, I wanted to pull a card out for you, an extra card. And this week, I thought that we... Oh, no, where was it that I saw something? Oh, yes. Because this is about change, right? I wanted to do the uh, butterfly oracle cards for life changes. Because this is all about change. You know, eclipses are about change, aren't they? And it's about... Um, going with that change embracing the change so i thought that uh, the butterfly oracle cards by doreen virtue would be a good uh deck to do for your extra card for this week so leo what wonderful blessings guidance and information uh can the angels give through the butterfly oracle cards what wonderful guidance gifts and blessings for this coming week there we are oh this is body changes darling this is the this is the uh look at this this is actually look from the um this is the metamorphosis right from the caterpillar into the butterfly um, so this is about body changes. So this can be about getting in touch, you know, exercising, changing your diet. Look, it's beautiful. It's about, this is body changes. So this is about bringing diet and exercise into your life and being very, being, uh, being very healthy about the choices and in, in what you choose to eat and what you choose to put into your body, right? You know, not too much, no, not too much birthday cake, Leo. Okay. <laughs> I think that's for me. I have a Leo rising. So I really have to kind of take care. I've been thinking about it, but I mean, I've always have a healthy diet, um, but maybe I eat a little too much and that perhaps I need to bring exercise in. Just saying for me, I need to shine a light on my new body. Leo, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, comment. I love comments and feedback and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all and I'll see you next week. All the babies, look at them. How old do you think they are, Kathleen? Um, for a personal reading, please go to www.liveinthesolution.com. They're at the ugly duckling uh, stage. Maybe four, maybe four weeks. I can make you. No, I'm just saying that because of the no, story. Sure.